You know, I've just recently started using my camera uh, outside, so I was filming last week and I realized that as I was using my camera, there was a lot of wind blowing. So upon some research, I found out that I was supposed to buy something to put on top of my uh, microphone called a dead cat. So I went to Amazon and I just bought the first one that I saw because I just thought, you know what, it's from Rode, so definitely it must be good. But that wasn't the case. So this is the dead cat. So I've tried my best to fit it on. I've pulled it all the way to the edge, but you know what? It still looks very clunky and there's a lot of space over there at the end of the microphone. And this is really, really annoying. I was expecting to get a fit where this dead cat is pretty much the same size as the microphone. Usually when there's a crane, there's some artwork they're working on. So let's take it, let's take a look. So being frustrated, what I did is I went back to the drawing board, did some more research to see if I could uh, find a better quality dead cat. I came across a video where they did these two demonstrations showcasing which one worked better and the company uh, they had in that demo was Ryko. So I went to the website and when I looked at it I was like, whoa. Nice. So when I took a look at the Ryko website, there was something that really caught my eye. It looked very familiar. So upon closer examination, I realized that this website was designed using Divi. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because sometimes we look at all these features and we want all these um, you know, new bells and whistles to uh, help us design our websites. But actually the answer is in simplicity. So the one thing that strikes you when you take a look at this website is the images. As you can see here, your focus really goes on to the product because that's what they're trying to promote. So the other thing that makes this website look really, really awesome is the contrast in the colors. So as you can see here, we have a dark background and our description text here is very, very easy to read. And also our call to action buttons are very easy to locate. And if we scroll down here, we can see again, the use of imagery is fantastic. This is what you may want to be thinking about when you design your website. Over here, when you take a look at these logos, you can see they haven't made them really big. They're just the right size. And over here as well on the social media icons, again, it's very small, very subtle, but it does the job. Now let's take a look at some of the inside pages here where we have the products. So if I come over here to Cyclone, for example, we see the consistency throughout the whole website. So the colors are pretty much the same. And when we scroll down here, again, the use of beautiful images continues. Then over here, this is a closer, a close up of this product. So this is really, really good. Now over here on Premium Short XLR, you can see a use of parallax. And again, it's a very, very subtle use and it's working really well. So don't get me wrong, I'm not saying we should not ask for features or we should not have a lot of features. To be honest, the more features that you have on any software, the more complex it becomes because all these features are trying to be crammed into very little spaces. I would say try and do the best with the features that you have. The main core of design is using great images, great contrast, and also picking the right fonts for your website. So if you learn these fundamentals, you will become a very, very good designer. I mean, as you can see this Ryko website, it has great contrast, it has great images, it looks really, really professional. So I just thought, you know what, let me discuss this and um, share with you what I came across. This was a pure co uh, coincidence. I had no idea that uh, this website would be using this. So uh, anyway, I'm waiting for my 
dead cat to be delivered. So hopefully that's gonna be working much better than the one I have. I mean, to be honest, this one is ridiculous. I don't even know why it has the Rode logo on it because it doesn't fit. So anyway, guys, uh, I'd like to know what you guys think about design. What do you think is important in web design? Do you think having a lot of features is very, very important or understanding the basic design basics or the basic fundamentals? All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.